Hey guys, this is Nightflame, and today, guys, I will be reviewing Teen Titans issue number seven. So let's get straight into it. Um, so the comic opens up with that whole Star Labs explosion. They must go, and I thought this was the beginning of the new story arc, but it turns out it's the end. So um, yeah, bear with me, guys. So uh, the Teen Titans unite. They go to that Star Labs. There is no signs of radiation, and um. You know, it turns out that these people want to use these um, weapons that have been, you know, trapped in Star Labs. And one of the weapons kind of like slowed down, slows down time. And um, as we see in this issue, you know, when that happens, Raven is the only one who can basically do something about it. Since everybody is low down, they're like not even moving. Uh, Gar also, Garfi Gar Garfield, which is... um. Beast Boy, he can also do something because he is a fruit fly, and fruit flies have a short lifespan. So, him and Raven, they end up beating these Star Labs goons or whatever because they want to explode New York City. They don't want to explode it, they want to erase it. So, Raven and Gar come, and you know, Raven at first, she ends up kind of losing, but then Gar helps her, and she ends up using her powers to get the Teen Titans there, and the Teen Titans basically save the day, and all of this was being broadcasted because these people were also trying to broadcast the end, so <laughs> this gets broadcast to the world, and the Teen Titans are seen as heroes to the whole New York City, finally. Um... So at the end, Manchester Black is like, you know what, um, we can trust these heroes, we can work with them, and they'll be fine. But this villain who, you know, created this, apparently he has powers, and he's gonna come back for the Teen Titans? I'm not even sure. So yeah, we'll see what happens. But um, what I think about this issue, um, to be honest, I was truly disappointed. I'm not even sure what to think about it. You know, I do like this whole social media move, like, oh yeah, I, you know, a bad girl likes taking selfies, and Teen Titans like Chirper, which is basically Twitter. But in my opinion, I don't think they take things too seriously. They're not really, you know, Robin used to be like the head person, the smart person, but I don't know, it just, I, they feel so dumbed down in my opinion. I'm not even sure. Uh, Power Girl, she bar barely talks. Uh, they're gonna get famous next issue. I will be picking up next issue, and... um the annual with Superboy, but I will be dropping it after Convergence because of the many new series coming out. So I will drop be dropping Teen Titans. And yeah, um, I give this issue a 5.5 .5 out of 10. It truly disappointed me. I didn't even care for the storyline. I thought, you know, it should have ended with last issue. Uh, this got sold too quickly. They could have done many things about, oh, Star Labs exploding. What are we going to do? It just went like, you know, there wasn't even emotion. Like, oh, New York is going to get erased. Nobody cared. So, <sighs> I'm not even sure. 5.5. .5, and, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like this video. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And have a nice day, guys. Goodbye.